Hello. This short video has been developed by City and Guilds to assist providers and employer providers with the new arrangements for calculating off-the-job training hours. This new rule applies when the apprentice has prior learning that must be taken into account and the total negotiated price to the employer must be reduced. The ESFA has introduced this new rule from the 1st of August 2022 and the rule only applies to apprentices who start their apprenticeship on or after that date. A new formula has been introduced and must be used to calculate the reduction in total negotiated price that is charged to the employer for each apprenticeship. If you are an employer provider, you would apply this reduction to the amount of levy you claim for each apprentice via your apprenticeship service account. You can now claim levy funding for the cost of initial assessment, but to do so you must carry out a comprehensive initial assessment and skills scan that identifies any prior learning. Prior learning is education, training or qualifications in a related sector subject area, including any previous apprenticeship or T-level undertaken, and any learning or competence gained from prior work experience. The Institute for Apprenticeships and Technical Education provides progression route information on its website showing the T-levels that have content that replicate the content in some apprenticeship standard occupations. These progression routes indicate where prior learning must be taken into account. In some cases the T-level content is too similar to the apprenticeship standard and would reduce the minimum duration to a point where the apprentice is no longer eligible for that apprenticeship. Once you have carried out the initial assessment, the employer provider or provider must identify the number of off-the-job training hours the apprenticeship should be reduced by based on that initial assessment. The ESFA recognises fixed costs within the delivery of an apprenticeship, so the calculation to reduce the price for prior learning is reduced by 50%. So once you have calculated the number of hours that off-the-job training is not needed due to prior learning, you calculate those hours as a percentage of the full off-the-job training that would be needed by an apprentice with no experience or prior knowledge. An example would be 1,000 off-the-job training hours required under normal circumstances. 300 hours are not required due to prior knowledge and that would equal 30%. You reduce that percentage by 50% to take fixed costs into account and then reduce the full cost of the apprenticeship by 15%. Now we will look at an actual calculation for an actual apprenticeship. So in this example calculation, we are using an apprenticeship with a 24 month duration in a funding band of 15,000. A 24 month apprenticeship would require 557 hours of off the job training as a minimum. That's 46.4 weeks times six hours which equals 278.4 hours times two years. For ease of calculation, I've rounded this up to 557 hours. Now remember that each year there were 52 weeks minus the statutory annual leave of 5.6 weeks, which gives you that calculation of 46.4 weeks. So taking initial assessment findings into account, you calculate the apprentice, due to prior knowledge, needs 150 hours less off the job training. So the full 557 hours minus 150 hours equals 407 hours off the job training over the two month, two, two year duration apprenticeship. This amounts to 26.9% reduction of the full off the job training hours required. That's 150 hours divided by 557. This gives you your 26.9% reduction. To reach the starting price for negotiation with the employer, you use 50% of the above percentage. So you divide 26.9 by two, which equals 13.45%. 13 A 15,000 funding band, less 13.45%, equals £12,982.50. 
That is the starting price for your negotiation. You cannot charge more than that once you have, once you, once you have identified prior learning. Obviously, you may take other costs into account with the employer, which might reduce that £12,982.50, such as large learner cohorts. We hope you found the video helpful. Thank you for watching.